Well, my name is Stephen Harbottle. Um, I've been a clinical embryologist since 1994. Cambridge IVF is, is unique in its region because we are the only publicly funded uh, fertility centre. We're part of Addenbrooke's Hospital, which is uh, a UK NHS hospital. So that means that it's funded by the government. It's, it's a publicly funded organisation. At the moment, our patient demographic is, is predominantly slightly older ladies. Um, our average age is, is around about 38 years of age. Um, from the point of view of the number of treatment cycles that we're, we're doing, we're, we're, we've only been open for a few months, so we're only anticipating doing around about 150 cycles in our first year. However, we've designed the laboratory so that we can grow, um, and the laboratory's been designed to accept up to around about 750 treatment cycles, which is where we hope that we'll be you know, this time, maybe next year or the year after that. Each patient will start off on a, on a specifically designed patient journey. We don't really have core procedures. We, we fit the procedures around the patients. We don't fit the patients around the procedures. We like to think that we're a forward-thinking unit. Um, we work cautiously, of course, using evidence-based procedures. Um, and you know, we, we're working with the best possible quality consumables, materials, culture media, and equipment that we could source. So we've left nothing to chance in the design of the, of the facility. And I think that's the way that we, we market ourselves, is you know, being patient-friendly. patient, patient friendly. Patients are very informed and empowered within their treatment cycles. They get a lot of embryological time. We, you know, we spend a lot of time with them, as, as do the, the doctors and nurses. Uh, one particular thing that we use to, to market the unit is that we're the only clinic in the region using the embryo glue product. Um, the reason we do that is because we, you know, we believe that it, um, it does make a difference. Um, it's included as part of our core treatment pathway and we want to make sure that patients are aware that we're doing everything we possibly can to give them the best possible chances of a successful outcome of their treatment. So embryo glue, we've, we've been looking at embryo glue for some time. It makes perfect sense to us to use a media that is specifically designed for embryo transfer, just as we would use um, a media that is specifically designed for other stages of embryo development. Embryo glue is a slightly more viscous media and that has an advantage when it comes to loading the embryo transfer catheter. Embryo glue also contains a, um, a glycoprotein called hyaluronin which is naturally present in uterine secretions. So what we're doing by using embryo glue is we're returning the embryo in a media that more closely mimics the environment that would, it would find within the uterus in the natural um, conception process. It's been a really good start at Cambridge IVF. Obviously we're, we're still a very new unit, we've only been open a few months, but we've seen very encouraging results. Our pregnancy rate in the under 38 group is currently 52%. Our overall pregnancy rate is 32%. This gives us a very good foundation on which to continue to grow our service. We've used embryo glue for every embryo transfer that we've performed so far, so I don't have comparative data you know, comparing embryo glue to, to not using embryo glue. But I don't think that we need to do that. The, you know, the data that we looked at before we decided to, u to use it was, was, was validated. Everything we do at Cambridge IVF is based on evidence-based practice. So we were confident in the use of embryo glue and we've been absolutely delighted in the success rates that we've got using it along with the rest of the vitro life product range for our um, embryo culture. It's very, very important to select the right culture media, particularly when you're opening a new fertility centre. I've used the vitro life product range for almost 10 years now. I know the product range very well. And we went out to tender and we spoke to four media manufacturers. We selected the Vitro Life Culture Media based on its merits. Not only was the offer that was, was tendered for us very cost effective, but also we felt that Vitro Life as a company didn't just want to supply us with media, they wanted to supply us with more than that. We have an excellent relationship with Vitro Life and we feel that they have, have played a part in the development of our service. Um, it's not just a question of them delivering media to us in boxes, it goes a lot deeper than that. They, they want to grow with us and they've been very supportive of that.